Hello friends and family, how are you doing today? It is day 27 of Praying for Rain in Cape Town. I am excited because over the last 27 days, we have, an, have had an unprecedented amount of rain that's came to Cape Town. And I know it is just a sign and a wonder of things that are about to come, not just in the natural, but in the spirit. You know, we are believing for the impossible and to believe for the impossible, we actually have to not look at the elementary things. You know, I, I like to say this, I like to say the reason why um, Peter was able to walk on the water was because he ignored the elementary principle of gravity. And God says in Colossians 2 and 20, if you will, if you will die in Christ, die in the intimacy of God, die in the finished work of what God has done and step over into the new thing that he's doing, you will, you will rule and reign with him. It, it says if you die in Christ, you died in the anointing, you're covered in him, and then um, to the elementary things of this world, you can do the impossible. You don't have to live to the decrees of this world. You don't have to live by the limitations of this world. You know, I travel the whole world and I see a lot of times, I see how men and women are stuck in a social class because that is the elementary principle of the culture or of the uh, structure of society. But, you know, one of the things that I've learned that if you obey the voice of God, if you obey, if you hearken unto the words of God, that not even the social stru structures of this world or where society says you fit in, lower class, middle class, poor, poverty, and stuff like that won't even matter because you are ruling and reigning in Christ. It's, it's what Paul talks about in Romans, the divine nature of God. And that divine nature of God is in you and in me. And so I am excited because we have the ability to step into that thing, into the divine nature, the divine purpose of God. What am I talking about? I'm talking about going back to where, not just where Adam and Eve was in the garden before the fall, where everything was subject to them, everything was under their feet. And they named everything because when we name something, we have a character to it. And that character is ultimately submitted to God. All right. I'm not just talking about that. I'm talking about stepping into the spirit without measure. The limited. See, we live. Romans 8 says the things of the spirit are, are hostile to the things of the, to the, to the, to the mind. And the reason why it's hostile is because the, the mind has limitations. The earth has limitations because everything is in order. And if we can step into the, the, to the order that is above all order, which is the power of God, then we can speak to the sky and declare and declare that it's going to rain. A drought is an elementary thing. A drought is something that is not, is something made or named by man to talk about a season about a season that is not producing in natural what should be producing in uh, it's it's a, it's a season how can i say this what i'm talking about is is that a drought is a season that is is meant to cause you to go closer to god all right it's just like loneliness you can never be lonely because god is with you and so when when we say that there's a drought, I look at it the other way. I look at it as God saying, go deeper. Look into me. Let's just pull in more of the revelation and of the knowledge of God. Let's step into the spiritual blessings according to Ephesians chapter 1. And let's, it's, it's actually a drought, a time where we're actually having to seek God. Seek ye first the kingdom of God. is actually producing a place in us of faith to believe God for the impossible. Because if 
we stay comfortable. If we don't have to believe God for anything, then we stay in our comfort zone and we stay comfortable and we never actually step out into the apostolic and begin to establish the work of God. We never actually step out into the prophetic to bring order and corrections to the things around us and bring it back into alignment with God. And so in order to step into the mandate and the purpose of God, you have to look at the natural and say, I'm not going to let it determine who I am. Those elementary things, those things like gravity that would stop me from walking on water, I'm not going to look at them any longer. I'm going to focus on Jesus and I'm going to believe that I can get to him no matter the waves, no matter the wind, no matter if there's a storm. My focus is on God. And so today, as we, are, as we are about to bring my friend who is originally from the Dominican Republic but living in the United States, and then we're going to talk about the prophetic and some different things, and I'm going to turn it over to him. I just I want to leave that with you to actually step into a place where you don't let the elementary things of this world, the lack of the bank account, the lack of the food in your cupboard, the lack of the clothes that you have, stop you from actually seeing a man, a miracle being manifested on the earth through your life. Because that is your DNA. That is what you're called to do. You're not part of this world any longer, according to uh, First Peter. You're, you're, you are born of incorruptible seed. You were sent from heaven now to be an ambassador, to be an apostle, to decree and declare the things of God on the earth. And where there's a drought, you are to bring the spirit, which is the reign of God, and decree and declare that we will search for God until we find him. And when we find him, we will be filled to overflowing. Amen. All right, well, I can get my preach on, but I'm going to go ahead and let my friend, um, Christopher Rodriguez, he, like I said, originally from the Dominican Republic, he is a powerful, powerful man of God and a prophet. All right, Christopher, how are you doing today? Shalom, shalom. We are doing just amazing. Today is an amazing day, and we are just humble and happy to be in your uh in your Facebook Live today. Thank you so much for being here. It's an honor and a privilege. Um, Why don't you just begin to share what God has put on your heart, and um, we'll take it from there. We'll see where God takes it. Amen. Uh, It's very interesting. Uh, Today we have uh, the topic to talk about the prophetic, and of course we're going to be moving all around the Bible because we love the Bible. Uh, Amen. But I believe God what he says in the book of Isaiah, chapter 35, verse 7. It says, But thou thy say to me, we trust in the Lord. Sorry. Let's read uh, verse 7. And the perched ground shall come a pool, and the thirsty lamb shall spring of water, and the habitation of dragons, where each lake shall be grass with reeds and rushes. That means the prophet Isaiah saw the future and he says that every dry places, out of those those dry places, waters will come out. Water. Yes. With that being said, it means that in these last days, the Holy Spirit will will be put out upon his people and they're going to be empowered to do whatever the Lord called them to do. And I believe that this is a great season for us. To be led by the Spirit. Because first we need to be born again. If we want to walk with the Holy Spirit, we need to be born again. Yes. I can desire to walk with God, but without the Holy Spirit, it's impossible for me to talk to it, to Him. The Holy Spirit yes. is the one who helped me to communicate with Him. So I need to be born again. And that brings mm. me to the passage of John chapter 3. He says, Nicodemus, you need to be born again if you want to see the kingdom. And if you want to enter into the kingdom, you need to be born again. Amen. What does that mean? It means that if you want to operate with the spirit, you need to be born again. That's the only way. There is no other way. There is no other shortcut. So I believe that in this season, the Lord wants to rest his people with power, with anointing, 
so they can accomplish the will of the Father in this earth. Mm. Yeah. That is what the Lord will do. And of course, we talk about, about South Africa. South Africa is in a place of transition. Mm. That's what the Lord told me. He says, South Africa is in a place of transition. What means trans transition? It means that they are moving from one place to another. There will be a yeah, replacement. Yeah. There will be a change from the government, yeah. from the health, from the farmers, from the people, and from the ministry. Everywhere there will be a change because God says so. Mm. So I said to my people from South Africa, don't be afraid because God is in control of South Africa. And there will be Amen. a mighty move of God through the prophetic, through the apostolic, through the pastoral ministry and the, the evangelism. You know, people doesn't talk about evangelism anymore, but I believe that God is raising young people with power yeah. to with evangelize power. in the street and take over all over South Africa and all over the world. Yes. Yes. So yes. I'm believing God for a mighty move of God. Amen. That's interesting that you, you say that South Africa is in a season of transition with our, um, I don't know if you know this, but our, our current government has just reshuffled. We got new ministers. We have a new president. We have a new uh, deputy hey. president, um, all that. So in the past two weeks, this is just really fresh. I mean, last night, he just got rid of a whole bunch of cabinet members and brought in a whole new Whoa. set of members and all that. Yeah. Come on. Yeah. So what can you... Um, why don't you just touch on that a little bit more? Maybe you can encourage the people um, because they are now introducing legislation to um, take land, uh, land reappropriation, our land, uh, basically is stealing land in South Africa. And so um, maybe you can just touch on that about transition and what we can do in transition or just be led by God. I, I think you're onto something there. Sure. Sure. Remember what the Bible says. The Bible's declaring there was a king called Ahab. And there mm. was her wife called Jezebel. And the Bible says they took a possession of a lamb of a, of a righteous man. Uh, I think it was Ahab. I don't know how to say his name in English. But he was yeah. having a property. And Ahab was crying for his property. And he said... Unless I have the property, unless I have that ground, I will not rest. Ah. And Jezebel said to the king, but you are the king. You can take over. You know, anything you want, you can, you can take that lamb. And what happened, yeah. the Bible says that they pay to people to uh, criticize that righteous man. Okay? Mm. And what happened after that? What happened after that? Prophet Elijah declared a word. What was the word? Mm. There will be no rain. Yeah. Why? Because of the government. The government. Oh. South Africa, and that's what the Lord is doing. He's shifting. Why he's shifting the government? Because they have taken possession of the land. And when you take the people possession of the poor, there will be a darkness on the land. Wow. So what God is saying, God is saying they need to repent in the government. They need to change and leave the corruption. Yeah. Because one of the things that God showed me about South Africa is that they are dealing with the water of the poor people. Mm. Okay. And God is watching that. God says to me, tell them that the problem is they are corrupting. They are taking the poor and they'll do whatever they want with the poor. And you can't blame the poor because yeah. the poor only, want, only has somebody, and that is God. Yeah. Yeah. So what the people of South Africa need to do? They need to go by the prophetic word. What's the prophetic mm. word? They need to go back to God. Mm. They need to repent, go back to God. Why? Because they have let aside the canceling of God. See, okay. I'll tell you this. Every time you don't listen to an instruction, 
you know, pain and confusion and crazy stuff will happen. God has spoken to South Africa before and they have not listened. So now they have to listen because now God is taking control. Yeah. Wow. Wow. I don't know if it's making sense when God is speaking. No, no, no. I, I, when you said that, I was reminded of a uh, friend. Uh, I have a friend here in Cape Town. She had a, a, a large church. Her and her husband had a large church in one of the townships. And the um, one morning she woke up to found out that she no longer had a church because the um, government took um, a township. Um, let me see how I'm trying to think what it would be called in the Dom Dominican Republic. Um, but a township is where all the poor, um, well, the informal settlement is um, normally where a lot of people that are disadvantaged uh, live and um, stuff like that. And so they just moved everyone in that informal settlement in that township um, outside of the city to a whole nother uh, part of um, on the uh, on, on the other side of the mountains. And now they must start their life and everything like that. And they had no choice. They just loaded them up in trucks and in vans and they just burnt down their houses and everything and moved them over. This was in 2015. And so um i can i can understand what you're saying and i'm just saying that to bring confirmation so you know right now march 29th is going to be a big event in south africa we have a, a man of god that is bringing together the last time he did something like this he brought over 1.3 million people um to come and pray for south africa to turn their hearts to god and for repentance and stuff like that and God spoke to him to bring that to Cape Town. And so they're expecting mm -hmm. um, over 2, 2 million people to be at this event. So um, we know that in transition, anything that's giving to us is temporary, which is, yeah. um, you know, you shouldn't, if you know that you're in transition, you shouldn't hold on to anything. It should just be no. seed in your hand, <laughs> right? That's right. So, so <laughs> with, with knowing that and knowing what the current government is doing, um, and I believe that the current government that's in place right now is not going to be in, South Af in, in, in power. Um, and I will prophetically speak this right now, that the ANC Come will on, not be um, in power in South Africa in the next two years. So with that being said, what can the people of God do to um, position themselves? Because that is ultimately what transition is meant for. And it's meant to, it's meant to actually take what you have and bring you um, smaller. It's a, it's a strength you to enlarge you, if I can say it like that. Um, it's mm -hmm. to put pressure on the seed that God has inside of you. So if you, um, so what can you say to position men and women of God that know that they are doing what they need to be doing, that they're raising up that sound, raising up that sound of repentance, raising mm -hmm. up that sound that it's time to yes. come back to the father. Um, what is it? What is it that they can be doing to um, well, begin to raise that sound in the earth? Well, it is very simple. Uh, from okay. when we, when we I like that. Fight, that sounds... Yes, it is very, <laughs> very simple. What we need to do is, after repentance, after we repent, we need to ask God for direction. Why we need direction? Ah. Because whenever it's rightness, it means that we need prophetically direction. Where are we going now? Where are we hitting now? Yes. So I believe those pastors, those members, those apostles, prophetic, they need prophetic guidance from God. Why I say that? Let me bring you to the Bible. The Bible says in the book mm. of Genesis that Pharaoh was having a dream and he saw a dream when seven cow of dryness, right? Was dryness of yeah. the land of Egypt. And there was uh -huh. a man called Joseph anointed for that time. Uh -huh. 
Anoint him with vision and wisdom and intelligence. Yes. And Pharaoh asked God and says, what we need to do now? Because I have the dream, but I need interpretation. And that is mm. when God is sending prophetic people, apostolic people, and pastor that they are able to understand the mystery, what God is speaking on the midst of this drying season. Because yes. God is saying something. So we need prophetic people like Joseph, like Daniel, people in the government that give clearly direction, and also in our yeah. churches. You know, people that yeah. have revelatory gift, revelation. I begin to speak in this program about being born again of the Spirit. Mm. Because unless you are born from the Spirit, you can never know what God is intent to do. Yes. The word, the word is confused. They don't know what to do. But we know what, what to do. We know yes. that if we repent and we allow the guidance from God, we're going to surely have the victory. In the book of Acts, yes. when Agabus, the prophet, told Apostle Paul there will be a dryness on the land. There will be a dryness. Let's do prophetic instruction. Let the people mm. of the church begin to save their money, begin to work together, united. Yes. So these dryness can pass away and never hit the church. Yes, yes. So then we see the prophetic again, intervening when it's a dryness in the, in the, in the yes. body of Christ, also in the city. Yes. Now let me ask you a question. I'm, I want you to touch on two things. I, wanna, I want yes. you to touch on uh, being born again of the Spirit, because you, you said that a couple of times now. But then I also want you to, um, after that, answer the question, because yesterday we heard how to apostolically bring unity into the body of Christ. Um, but what about prophetically? How, do, how would we bring prophetically unity into the body of Christ? So what does it mean to be born of the Spirit? And then um, how to prophetically bring unity into the body of Christ. Okay. We have our physical mother and our physical father. When yes. they come together, they produce a baby. We uh. have what happened in the book of Luke, chapter 1, verse 37. The Bible says that there was a woman called Mary. And she was about to conceive from the Holy mm. Spirit. So being born again is to be conceived by yes. the Holy Spirit. Is to be burned from the Word of God. He says very clear in the book of John chapter 1, to those who receive him, he gives them the power to become. Power. To be made by the Word of God. To be led by the Word yeah. of God. He said to Satan, men shall not live by bread alone. But by every word, which means when you are right. born by the Spirit, your food is not a physical food, is your Bible, is a scripture. That's your food. Yes. So there is, a, there is a difference between the natural language and the Spirit. Yes. There is a difference. He says in John chapter 10, to those who want to be born again, there shall be a door. Those who not enter by the door, they are not being called by me. But those that are called, they should listen to my voice and they shall enter. And when they enter, there should be a porter that guides them. Yes. yes. So when you are born again and you enter into the kingdom of God, right. somebody will help you and guide you and instruct you. Because he said, I'm living, but I let the Holy Spirit guide you and teach you all things. Yes. So Amen. be born again, it's very simple. Be born again means that you don't have our natural life, but you have everlasting life. Operating yes, within yes. you. Yes. That you have the life of Christ manifesting inside your body. That's yes. being born again. Yes. Yes. And, you know, you, way, you mentioned... Huh? You mentioned and uh, you, you mentioned Luke chapter one, and I just want to bring something out in verse thirty-five. 
And it says, the yes. angel answered and said to her, the Holy Spirit will come upon you and the power of the Most High will overshadow you. And for that yes. reason, the Holy Child shall be called the sons of, Son of God. That word overshadow there means to be enveloped in brilliance. So when you're yeah. born, uh, yeah, so when you're born of the spirit, you are engulfed, you are enveloped, placed in a, a seal of brilliance, of power and authority given to you by the Holy Spirit to be creative, to see miracles, uh, even tying it into um, what I said earlier, that you're not born of this world, of this DNA, but you're born of incorruptible seed, of the seed of heaven, the DNA of heaven, and that you don't have to subject yourself to the elementary things of this world. And so that's powerful that when you realize that you are born again, that you are placed I like to call it an upgrade. You are upgraded that things don't, you don't live according to the things of this world because you live in a higher dimension, a higher level with God. And you take authority yes. and you take dominion. And then you begin to act apostolically, establishing the kingdom of God on the earth. Amen. Uh, that's right. That, that's very right. That's exactly what I'm telling you. And, we, and when you are born again, which means that you are not driving by the physical stuff, but you are driving by the word of God. The word mm. of God is your universe. It's everything. Yeah. So when you come to that place of consciousness, because that's a consciousness, you have that kind of mindset. That's why he said you have the mind of Christ, which means you are driving. Your thinking process is governed by the word of God. You are yes, governed. Yes. Heaven. Your heart is so in package. He says in Colossians chapter 3, verse 16, let the word of Christ dwell in you richly with power. When yes. you have that word inside your heart, the Holy Spirit can come and live inside you. Mm, yes. That's his finishers. That's his TV. That's his cable. He feels comfortable because he has word in your heart. Right. So right. And it is very important for us to uh, on the light that. Yes. Yes. And so by stepping into that, then we step into a place prophetically. You know, when I, when I teach on the um, prophetic, just being prophetic, I say that you are a walking prediction of the word of God. I mean, that's, I mean, prophetic means prediction. So I just take it to the simplest form that if, the spirit of Jesus, it's a spirit of prophecy, and Jesus lives inside of you. So you are a walking prediction of the manifestation of the word of God wherever you take authority, wherever you take your feet takes you. So yes. if, if that's the case, and if you're born of the spirit, and you are Holy Spirit, tongue-talking, believing, power-walking believer of God, then that means wherever you go, there should be a prophetic manifestation of God, whether it's unity, whether it's healing, whether it's um, um, whatever it is, you should be able to see God being manifested in the earth. Correct. That's very correct. Yes. The prophetic has different dimensions. Uh. The prophetic has what we call the word of the scriptures. Of course, we have the word of the scripture in 1 Peter chapter 2, verse 17 ahead, where it says that the word of God it doesn't came by the will of man, but by the will of God. So, which means that's the first level. You, you have yeah. the, the, the scripture, because I, I know a lot of people, they prophesy, but they don't have the scripture. So, right. where are you taking yeah. your inspiration from? You shall exactly. be inspired by the scriptures. Yes. And, oh. and this, let me add on to that. The word says that if you prophesy, you should prophesy according to your faith. And what is ultimately Correct. your faith? The word of God. So if you don't Correct. have the faith for an airplane, don't be prophesying for an airplane. <laughs> Let's just get simple with that Correct. there. Correct. But prophesy according to your faith. Prophesy according to the mandate of the word of God that he's given to you. You can go on. 
I like where Correct. this is going. No, that's, that's completely right. I love it. That's right. That's right. So they must be inspired by the word of God, not by a dream, not by a vision. Mm. No, they shall be inspired by the word of God because the word of God doesn't have errors, doesn't have contradictions, doesn't have imperfections, mm -hmm. doesn't have any kind of reason of man. So that is yeah. the, script, the scripture. Now you say very important. You say that the spirit of prophecy is the spirit of Christ, right? Yes. That's correct. It's the spirit of Christ. That's yes. a Revelation yes. chapter 19, verse 10, right? Exactly. Which means, that takes me to my next point. The spirit of prophecy. Come on. Because there is, this, there is a difference from the prophetic scriptures. Like, for example, Isaiah, John, Jonah, uh, Habakkuk, Jeremiah, Isaiah. That's prophetic scripture. That, you cannot change that. But mm. you mentioned that the spirit of Christ is the spirit of prophecy, which means that's the atmosphere. You're talking about the atmosphere yeah. of that prophetic word. Um, mm. That takes you to a passage in 1 Samuel chapter 19, which I will paraphrase because we don't have that many time. But it says something like this, that Saul the king was trying to kill David, and David was with Samuel, okay? And when he sends his people his uh, companion of 50, when they get yeah. to certain place on Ramah, the Bible says that the spirit of prophecy, the mm -hmm. atmosphere of the prophetic was in that place because Prophet yes. Samuel was there. And the Bible says that they were taken over by the power of God. They were taken mm. over. You know, they couldn't kill David. They were all over prophesying. So sends his second crew, nothing happened. He said, he sang his third crew, nothing happened. <laughs> Until he says, I need to go by myself to kill this guy, to kill this prophet called Samuel. So he yeah. went to that place. And what happened was he began to prophesy the spirit, the atmosphere. The spirit of prophecy was so powerful. Was so a prophet? No. He was in the atmosphere. Yes. His soldiers was prophetic people? No. But they were in the atmosphere, the atmosphere of the prophet. So you can be close to a prophet and begin to prophesy. Because it's the atmosphere where this man of God walk, you know, you can be influenced by and begin to prophesy. Yes. I don't know yes. if I'm making sense. You're making sense. You're making sense. And that's where people uh, sometimes they, they get into um, a service with a prophet and then they begin to... Uh, what I call um, parking lot prophecy. They just begin to prophesy <laughs> yeah, yeah, all yeah. over the place and they're, they're out of order. Um, For sure. But it makes sense. But as you, as you begin, and I, I think as you begin to study out scripture and as you, it was something that you said and I can't remember where it was, but it was good. Um, Oh, I can't remember it. I just lost it. Let's continue. Quick, so it's going to come back to you. The Holy Ghost is here. <laughs> but as you begin to study the Word of God, you begin to get intimate with the Word of God. And then you can't help but manifest the Word of God wherever you go. And I think that is something that it, when you begin to actually get intimate with God and with the Word of God, then that atmosphere rests upon you at all times. And then you begin to see the spirit without measure, the spirit without um, any limitations. And a lot of times we, we don't step into that thing because we, we don't have, we're focused on fasting, but we're only focused on an aspect of fasting. We're not focused mm. on, um, you know, for me, every day, I, I try to write the word of God. I, I start writing, I'm, I'm starting to write the book of Galatians today. Um, every day I try to write because if I can get the word of God written upon my heart prophetically, then it becomes a manifestation. I don't know when I'm going to need the first two chapters of Galatians, but sometime it's going to come to me and I'm going to need it. Um, but that's yes. becoming intimately acquainted with the word of God. And I think that is the thing that allows you to step into the prophetic and allows you to step into um, seeing miracles, to seeing um, yeah. your identity, 
to seeing the realization of the uh, kingdom of God established wherever you go. Jesus wow. never sat there and attacked um, in the sense he began to do warfare and all that. He just established the kingdom wherever he went. And I yes, think, yes. you know, a lot of times people don't even know the simplest of teachings that Christ taught. Um, you know, they, they know love your neighbor as yourself and, and all that kind of stuff. But, you know, when you begin to actually sit down and you begin to study the word of God and where he talks about persistence and where he talks about the widow woman that kept going toward up to the um, unruly judge and uh, will I find faith in the earth? They just, they just stick with the I found faith in the earth, but they never looked at the fact that you have to actually begin to be persistent in establishing the kingdom of God, even though there's a principality telling you that it can't happen. You know, yes, it's, yes. It's, actually, it's actually looking at Genesis in a prophetic way. The book of Genesis is prophetic. The book That's of Genesis, right. if you begin to, if you begin, it's just not a story about creation. Because if yes. it was given to Moses, it was given to Moses prophetically. Yes, yes, and, yes, yes. And so I think to step into the prophetic, if I was to say it simply, is actually getting a, 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 um, uh, acquainted or intimate with the word of God and actually getting to know God for who he is, for his character. Um, yes. You know, we know, we sing the song, Because of Who You Are, Jehovah Jireh, Jehovah Nisi, and all that kind of stuff. But do we actually know what Jehovah means? Just the yes, word yes, Jehovah. Yes, not not Je, uh, Jireh, but Arapha, but just the word Jehovah, which means the self-existent yes. God, that there was no one before him or after him. And Jireh means provider, but if you actually begin to break down that word, it actually means God in the midst. So God yes. never wanted to provide with you, him on the sideline, but he wanted to provide with you in the midst of the situation. You know, the great Amen. I am that I am sent you. And it takes you, when you get an intimacy with the word of God, then you begin to be a walking prophecy of the word of God, a walking Correct. prediction of the word of God. And then... Um, you take that and then your worship begins to water that seed, that your worship begins to actually cause the, the spirit of God to begin to breathe upon that seed, which is the word. And then you receive a harvest. And that is your faith. That is your creed. That is, that is what you believe. You don't have to tell me that I can live debt free because I live debt free. You don't have to tell me I can drive a car that I don't pay for because I drive a car that I don't pay for. And I'm not boasting, yeah. but it's the simple <laughs> fact that I've taken the word of God and I became intimately acquainted for it. Whether I live or die, I will see the manifestation of the word of God. And I think, I think that is, what, that, is, um, that is part of being born again of the spirit, you know, where you don't have to, I'm not neglecting going to the man of God or going to the prophet or whatever, but when you go to a, the man of God or you go to the prophet, it's confirmation of what God has already spoken into your life. Correct. You correct. know, the word is a lamp into my feet and the light into my path. That means the word of God is an answer wherever I go. Yes, that's right. That's very right. Uh, you say something very, very important. We, as a man of God, we come to confirm. And I bring that yes. up because it's, it's what happened in the book of Matthew. You know, when God spoke to uh, Elizabeth, when he spoke to Elizabeth, says, you're going to conceive a child. The Bible yes. says that the same angel, Gabriel, went to Mary and says, you're going to conceive a child. And the confirmation will be that you will go to Elizabeth and you will receive a confirmation. And when they get in touch, the Bible says that the same Holy Spirit that was in Elizabeth confirmed, confirmed the same word that Mary was carrying. So we yes. go to the man of God or we go to, the, to that place of source where we receive life is to confirm what we already carry, what we already have. So that yes. is, that is, um, that is the, uh, my point on that area. Now, we mentioned something.
you mentioned about talk about the prophetic and also how can we bring unity through the prophetic and that's yes. a very powerful question why because it is revealed that in the book of ezekiel 37 the bible says that ezekiel was called by god and god called ezekiel and says shall these dry bones live and he said lord only you know that and he said then prophesy so prophesy, prophesy bring unity in the body of christ and he began yeah. to declare bone he began to declare tendon he began to declare flesh and as he was releasing the prophetic word into the atmosphere, into that place, into that region. The Bible says that those bones begin to respond. And there was like an earthquake in the land. And they begin yes. to respond, oh my God, to the word of God. Come on. And as they were responding to the word of God, you know, the unity, you know, every bone was with his bone. Every tendon went with his, with his tendon. Every flesh went to his flesh. Now, what is missing? Well, we don't have unity because we lack to live in the spirit. Yes. And the yes. only thing that can bring you, we can prophesy that, but if the Holy Spirit is not behind that prophecy, it will never come to pass. Right. Yeah. So yeah. what allows you and me to come together is the Holy Spirit. We don't want flesh yes. unity because flesh unity means uniformity. Uniformity with, can means that you can have the same teacher that I have. We can look like we're united, but we are not united. We are just uniform. We look like we are uniform, but we, the only thing that can grab your heart from my heart is the Holy Spirit. Yes, yes. The Bible says in the book of Acts, they were according in one accord in one place. Yeah. Who was bringing down one accord? The Holy Ghost. The Holy Ghost yes. is the one behind the unity of the church, behind the unity of the ministry. Yes. If the Holy Ghost is not bringing you to unity, don't unite with nobody. But right, right. They That's can break exactly. You down. But if the Holy Ghost connects you, like this divine connection, if the Holy Ghost brings you together, it will surely come to pass sexually. It will come to pass amazingly. Yes. It will produce something. Like yes. this uh, uh, program is producing something. So it's not yes. just the fact that we come together in one place. You know, and it, it, it's the fact that it's my heart united with your heart. So yes. this, being, that being said, for us to become united through the prophetic, it must be that the will of God, the purpose of God is beyond your will and my will. Yes. I don't know yes. if I'm making sense. Yeah. Because you can be united You're making in the flesh, sense. but not in the spirit. Yes, that's exactly it. Because um, you said one thing, and I want to just touch on it real fast. I want to touch on that you said that they had to respond to the spirit. They had to respond to the voice of God. Um, and that word respond means a verb. It means action. And so that means that they had to take some action to allow the spirit of God to begin to bring bone together, to bring flesh together, to bring things together so that they, Correct. they there, there has to be a place of surrenderance. You know, um, you, you should know this from being in America. And sadly, I'm seeing this uh, start in South Africa. When I grew up in ministry with my parents and all that, we, we didn't go by degrees. We didn't go by this Bible college. Well, I came from All Roberts University, but you came from Christ for the Nations. Well, I came, yes, yes, yes. We, didn't, we didn't go by that. We went by the spirit. And I think yes. a degree, degrees are good. Don't get me wrong. I, I believe that we should be stewards of the mystery of God. And Amen. we should actually, but there has to be some um, need um, some revelation to go with that head knowledge that you have, you know, uh, the spirit needs to be able to breathe upon it. And I think that's something that you touched on that was very, very, very important is to know each other by the spirit. We will know that we are one by the spirit and then be willing to respond to the sound. You mentioned Elizabeth. When Elizabeth met Mary, the baby leaped. And so that the means that leaped. the baby... The baby leaps. So when the anointing and John meant favor, so Christ is the anointing. John is favor. That's what his name meant. When uh, Christ met, when the anointing met favor, it leaped. It went to another level, and it was confirmation that God 
was about to do something great in the earth. And, but, you know, they had to be willing. Mary and Elizabeth had to be willing to uh, come together and seek counsel from each other and allow the anointing and the favor of God to mix so something amazing could happen on the earth. Yes. And I think that's the thing. I think it's coming to where we're not going to look in the natural and and but we're going to begin to look in the spirit and say hey if if there's a kindred of heart if there's something here that speaks my language then i need to connect with that thing and i need to be able to uh see that thing be manifested and advanced in the kingdom of god correct correct so they has to be by the spirit you know he say it's not by mind it's not by power but by my oh. spirit, says the Lord. If we're going to conquer yeah. something, it has to be by the spirit. Otherwise, we just are trying and getting tired and getting frustrated and getting uh, confused. We don't know what to do. We're in that place of confusion. Why? Because it's not the spirit. The spirit of God never yeah. brings confusion. He says in no. 1 Corinthians chapter 14, verse 35, I'm not confusion. I'm not a God that confuses people. Everything that I do is clean, it's sharp, it's, it's, uh, yeah. it's for the people of God understand truly what is my desire, what is my will. Now, when you don't walk by the Spirit, you can't know the will of God. You can't know. So when those people come, those who do not have the Spirit of God, and they call you, and they, they produce, uh, provoke you some way or somehow, you, you can have the ability to discern why. Because the yeah. Spirit is the one behind. So the Holy right. Spirit, it is needed like never before in this time. Um, yes. Whether we heal the sick, whether we prophesy, whether we deliver, whether we walk in any gift of the Spirit, we need the Holy Spirit to help us do that. Yes, yes. You know, you see a perfect example of unity in Numbers chapter 9, um, where Israel, where the um, the cloud the glory cloud would fall upon the um i think it was the tent of meetings and they would sit there until the cloud departed and when the cloud left that's when they excuse me they advanced they went ahead and they fought their victories and they went ahead and they conquered but when the cloud came back they immediately went back to the tent and they began to wait upon the lord and they got rest and they they began to get ready for the next thing that God was going to get going to do with them. They were so in sync with the, the, the signs of the time to see where God was going to manifest. And when he manifested, they went there and they didn't move until he said to go again. And I think that Why? makes sense. Because the Holy Spirit was guiding them. That cloud yes. was representing the, the, the Holy Spirit. When he said walk, yes. they walk. When he stopped, they stop. You see what I'm saying? So when we yeah. have the spirit, it is, it, is, it is a 100% chance we're going to have the victory over any type of situation. Because right. the Holy Spirit will bring Christ to that problem. It, and when you bring Christ to that problem, it is already, it is already done deal. It is solved right. already. Right. Well, my friend, I want to take the next few moments. We have a few moments. And I just want to uh, give you the opportunity to prophesy um, just over the live stream. Um, just begin to prophesy if there's somebody specifically that God's showing you in the spirit of word of knowledge or anything like that. Just begin to release that. And let's just see where um, God takes this for the next few moments. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank well, you, Jesus. We are um, trying to see who is responding to the anointing. Why? If you don't respond to the anointing, writing us glory to God or something, that means I cannot prophesy to you. You need to respond to this anointing. And your response to this anointing will lead you to the prophetic word. Why? Because yeah. there have to be a movement. We are speaking about movement. So can you move, those who want prophetic word? Can you move and shout hallelujah or say glory to God or say Uh, Jesus is in the place. Something. Say something. And your response will lead me to your prophetic word. But I can't move if you don't respond. Without praise, there is no prophetic word. God only looks for those who worship him and spirit and truth. 
Hallelujah. Glory to God. Amen. Let me see who is responding to this anointing. Hallelujah. You, glory, Jesus. glory, glory, glory. Well, you, let me speak prophetically in general. The Lord says okay. that he's bringing a new season to his people. He's bringing Amen. a new season to his people. And he's going to provoke the dry places to come alive. The place of loneliness to become joy. To the place of sadness to become joyful. Okay, yes. they're responding to the anointing. I'm seeing a, uh, somebody now, James Roland Bruce. James. James, I'm seeing you prophet, uh, uh, prophetically teaching people. I'm seeing you sitting on my, on uh, uh I see like a, a table and I'm seeing, as I'm seeing you sitting on the table, I'm seeing prophesying and giving hope to people. What is hope? I'm seeing hope, the word hope. It has to be linked with you. I'm seeing the word, of, the word hope. Can you respond to this anointing? Let me see. I'm seeing the word hope. Hope, hope, hope. And as you respond, I will continue prophesying. Hallelujah. Are you here? I'm seeing, uh, as I'm seeing this word hope, I'm seeing a lady beside, it should be your wife. It should be your wife. And I, 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 can you hear me, James? I don't know if he's hearing me. He's not writing me. He's not, I don't know. I don't know if he's still there or he's gone. Hallelujah. Okay, okay, okay. He say amen. Well, he say amen. Well, amazing. Amen, amen means so shall he be. So I prophesy over your life. May the Lord give you a location. May the Lord provide to you a location. May the Lord provide to you the resources that you need to make the message of hope to be fulfilled in that place that you are. May the Lord provide to you the necessary tools because as I'm seeing you, I'm seeing you in the spirit realm <clears throat> And I'm seeing you standing by yourself. But the Lord says, I will provide new connection with you in this season. I will provide new connection. And this new connection will take you to the places that you need to be. As a matter of fact, I feel the anointing of God. And I feel that there is a prophetic, there is a, uh, there is a woman that I'm seeing in the spirit that is like a, an apostle. This lady will help you, will develop you. I'm seeing this help. Wow. Uh, uh, I, I, I'm seeing this apostolic girl, this this woman, she's like an apostolic. And as I'm seeing this woman apostolic, I'm seeing her helping you out. And the Lord says, there is a location. Again, I'm hearing the word location. And the Lord says, I'm listening. Wow. A location in the spirit right now. And the Lord says, I will provide what you need to let that vision come to pass, says the spirit of the living God. Come on, do I have somebody here? I came to Amen. take this God. life around. But I need Amen. people that really want to work from God. I want people that provoke me. I say, prophet, what are you talking about? Speak to my life. People that have the boldness to pull out a prophetic word. But let me tell you, be, begin to prepare yourself for the new season into your life. Begin to prepare yourself. It takes preparation. Why? Because there is a mindset that we need to change before we enter to the next glory. Glory to, hallelujah, Carolina. Carolina, can I prophesy to you? Hallelujah. Glory to God. Carolina, can I prophesy to you? I'm seeing the spirit of God lifting your spirit up. I'm seeing, uh, when I see you in the spirit, I'm seeing you walking in the place where you don't know what to do. But the Holy Ghost says that pro prophetic instruction, prophetic instruction will come into your life. And those that not, do not believe in you, they shall be embarrassed this year. Because the Lord said, I'm raising you up. I'm giving you the chance. The Bible declared in the book of Psalms, into a walk into the valley of the shadow of death. I feel no evil because the Lord is with yes. me. And then he said he will prepare a table before my enemy. Carolina, be ready because there is a restoration taking place in your life. 
There is a restoration taking place in your life. And by this prophecy, may the Lord increase your relationship with the Holy Ghost. May the Lord give you clearly instruction in this new season into your life. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Confusion is not your portion. Clarity. Clarity. Light. I speak light into that situation. In the name of Jesus Christ, I pray. Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Amen. Well, I feel the anointing flowing here very mightily. The, the Holy Ghost has take over right now. Come out. Those that worship God, they should work he, worship him in the spirit and truth. Yes. Hallelujah. If there's, just to clarify, just for a moment, um, the prophet is uh, prophesying over anybody that would like a prophetic word. Um, if you would just comment, praise God, glory, hallelujah. Um, let him know that you're on and he will prophesy to you. Thank you, Jesus. It's that simple. I'm not charging. I'm not asking for money. It's that simple. Yes. Just praise God. And when you praise God, the yes. Holy Ghost will move me into that situation that apparently looked like impossible. That sickness, are you, are you sick? Let the prophetic word take over that sickness. Are you confused and bound? Let the prophetic word release you in the name of Jesus. Amen. Glory to God. I feel the anointing of God so mightily in this place. Even my, you, my closest heart, I feel the power of God here. Hallelujah. Come on, Jesus. Mm. Come on, Jesus. Oh, Amen. Jesus. Thank you, Thank Lord. Lord. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. And I don't know why, but I see the month of August. I see the month of August. August, August. before se September. Yeah, August. There are somebody here. That is connected to August, the month of August. I'm seeing a lady connected to the month of August. May August, you receive August. deliverance into your situation right now by declaring the prophetic word over your life. Receive deliverance. Receive power. Receive anointing in the name of Jesus. Holy Ghost, yes. take over everybody in those houses. Holy Ghost, fill those houses. Holy Ghost, fill those ministries in the name of Jesus. Holy Ghost, I speak yes, a spirit over those bones. And when the spirit of God hits you, you just glorify God, whatever you are. Whatever you are, you just praise God. And the Holy Ghost will take over after that. Hallelujah. Because I'm seeing the mighty move of God in this Facebook live. Hallelujah. Oh, Jesus, Amen. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Thank oh, you, Jesus. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. You know, men of God, you need to be ready because I see uh, in the spirit like. Um, I don't know how to pronounce that. It's like Holland. Holland. Hor Holland. 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 You know, Holland is connected to you. I'm seeing some doors that the Lord is connecting, is opening doors there. And you will, you will be able to go there. It, it, it's going to be amazing. I'm seeing a church and I'm seeing you ministering there. I'm telling you the Lord is going to take Holland upside down when you go there. Wow. Wow, thank you, Jesus. Ooh, Jesus. Come on, Jesus. Holland. I'm telling you, I feel the power of God. I feel the anointing thank of you, God. Thank you, Jesus. This is, this is amazing what is happening. Oh, Jesus. Thank you, Where Lord. are those who are hungry by the word of God? Where are those who want to be filled by the power of God? I believe there is no distance. I can be here and I can be there by the spirit. Like prophet yes. Elijah. You know, he can be in different places by the Spirit of God. I cannot be there physically, but I can be there in the Spirit like Paul the Apostle. I'm not pressing right. in the body, but I'm pressing in the Spirit. Hallelujah. Yes. yes. Glory to yes. God. So, Come on, Jesus. we don't have people that is willing to receive a word, I'm just going to prophesy. May the Lord oh. increase you in this new season. May the Lord bless you in this new season. May the Lord yes. grant you on His word. You know, emerge you in the Holy Ghost. Emerge you in his kingdom so you can know his will. So you can know what is intending God uh, about your life. And also, very yes. important, I pray for the spirit of discernment. That you have the supernatural ability to recognize what is from God and what is not from God. 
Glory yes, to God. Teacher. I feel the power of God. Jesus, what is going on? I'm seeing that something is happening in the spirit. Do I have worshippers? Yes. Let me hear. Let Thank me hear. you, Jesus. Let me hear who is in tune with this prophetic anointing. Glory. Thank you, Jesus. Men of God, do you want to say something? Be, be, uh, I'm just creating time so they can respond. Yes, why don't you go ahead and you begin to prophesy uh, over South Africa and just release a word over South Africa while we wait for them to respond. For we'll sure. give them a couple of more as minutes. It says, as it says in the book of 2 Kings chapter 3, the Bible declares that there were certain kings, including Josaphat, including Johan, including the king of Edom. There were going to the desert, they don't have no direction, they don't know where to go. And the Bible says that Joseph says, there is no prophet from the Lord that can declare to you what we should do. And the prophet, yes. and Joseph says, we have Elijah, the one who served mm. the prophet Elijah. And when they went to Elijah, Elijah decreed a word. And he said, let the dryness, you will not die, but you shall live. Let the dryness yes. be over South Africa in the name of Jesus. May the Lord create wells in the spirit that has been released yes. over South Africa. I speak life into the ground. I pull down the first prophetic over South Africa in the name of Jesus. Those first prophets, those words that have been declared against South Africa, I pull them down in yes. the spirit right now. And I decree, Jesus. and I declare as the prophet of God oh, that South Africa shall live and not shall die. That the Lord yes. will be the one who defends South Africa in this season. That the changes that he's making in the government shall come to pass as he has declared. Oh, because the people of God has not repented. But as they come to unity, may the Holy Ghost be pulled out like never before over South Africa. I feel the power yes. of God. Holy Jesus. Ghost, they cover the streets of South Africa. I broke the spirit of stealing and destruction. The spirit of death yes. that Jesus. is killing South Africa. Jesus. No more. Ha, I feel and I declare life over Jesus. South Africa, over the streets, Jesus. over the houses, Jesus. in the name of Jesus. No more. No more ha, racism. Ha, no more. No more. I decree and I declare unity yes. over South Africa. Africa. No more you Jesus are white. Name. No more you are black. Said the spirit of living God. Yes. You're going to become one. You're going to become one in the spirit. Said the spirit yes. of the living God. Jesus as you bring the Holy Ghost, there should be unity in the government. There should be unity in the hospital. There should be unity yes. in Jesus name. In the name of Jesus. South Africa, I speak to you. Let the Holy Spirit take over the land. Yes. In the name of Jesus. And let Jesus. every negative blood speaking against South Africa. Let the word of the blood of Christ speak better things. Whatever sacrifice, yes. whatever they if they went if they went to witch doctor and, and witchcraft to consult for counseling, Father God, your blood is better. Your blood yes. speaks oh, better. And let the yes. president go to your counseling, oh God. Let the fear of the Lord be into your president and to the leaders, to the pastors, to the apostles, to the prophets, to the evangelists. Yes. Let the fear of God be over South Africa in the name of Jesus. Because the Jesus. fear of the Lord is wisdom. The fear of the Lord is wisdom. And South Africa need counseling. Look for wisdom. wisdom. I pray, Father, Jesus. as Ezekiel 37 let the Holy Ghost unite and revive and bring a new people, yes, new God. government, new people, new family, yes. restoration in the families. There have so been many families divided. I speak unity into the families. I speak peace into the marriage. I speak peace yes. into the ministries. In the name of Jesus, I prophesy that to South Africa. In the name of Jesus Christ. Jesus name. Thank you, Jesus. Lord. You will become one, South Africa. You will become one. The Holy yes. Ghost says, fear not, because I am in charge. Yes, in fear Jesus not. Name. It was needed that those changes in the government has to happen, says God. It was needed. Too much corruption. Too much. But God says, I'm bringing new people. 
that will have fear, that will look for my counseling. And the yes, Lamb will rise up again, says the Spirit of the living yes, God. Yes, in Jesus' Thank name. You, Lord. In Jesus' name. Thank you, Father. Thank oh, you, Lord Jesus. God. Thank you, Jesus. God, you're so good. We bless your name, amazing. Father. We give you glory. We give you honor. Oh, you amazing what is happening. Ah, so cool. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. 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 Yes, go ahead and pray for Josie. Oh, Jesus. I'm waiting on God because as I'm seeing you, I'm seeing like you are isolated. It's like you separated from what you love. The Holy Ghost says there is a season of restoration into your life. The enemy has attacked your relationship. The enemy has attacked your relationship. But God said, fear not. Just stand and grant it by my word. He said to the people yes. of Israel, stand and fear not. And Amen. I said to you, Jossie, Jossie, fear not. Fear not, Amen. says God. Fear not. There is a spirit of restoration right now taking place. I prophesy over your life. And those who hurt you, those who hurt your heart, those who produce offense into your heart, forgive them. Forgive them. Begin to release yourself from those that hurt you. And God says that there will be a new instruction into your life, a new instruction, new direction. I speak a new beginning in your life right now. I speak a new beginning right now in the name of Jesus over your life. Jesus' name. Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Something is happening. Something amazing is happening right now. Yes. I can't believe, but there is a strong, yes. strong anointing over this broadcast. This is amazing. Yes. Wow. Yes. This is amazing. What is happening? Uh, oh, oh, receive yes. that new beginning in the name of Jesus. Uh, yes. Receive that new beginning in the name yes. of Jesus. Oh, Lord. Thank uh, you. Yes. Men Just, of God, do you uh, want to pray that... or release them? Yes, yes, yes. Um, I just, uh, people that need healing right now that are listening to this broadcast, hey. uh, healing yes, yes. right now in Jesus' name. Hey. There's someone with a shoulder that um, hey. that you have pain in the joint in your shoulder right here. God's touching you right now in the name of hey, Jesus. Mama, mama. Just begin to lift that shoulder up. You're going to see even the pain. It goes from um, up here all the way into your shoulder. God's Six healing it right up. now in the name of yes, Jesus. Right now, thank Lord. you, Father, for it. Yes, That's Lord. you. Just comment Amen. below. Father God, I thank you, Father God. If someone's gallbladder is being healed mm. right now in the name of right Jesus, now. I thank Six you for up. it, Father God. I thank you, Father thank God. You, There's someone else who's like you get a, um, a stitch in your ribs. Um, a pain just comes. It's like a, a deep pain, oh, a burning Shabbat. pain. I thank you, Father God, for healing that person right now oh, in the name of Jesus. Ha uh, thank An ear you. is opening up right now. An infection in the ear is opening yes. up right, right now. now. I thank right now, you, Lord. Father God. I thank you, Father God. He Karaboko. Kidneys are being healed right now in Jesus' name. Right I speak now, to the kidney stones to be dissolved in Jesus' respond. name. I thank respond. you, Father yes. God. I thank you, Let Father God. So if that's you, just begin, just begin to, I thank you, Sandra, right now in Jesus' name. I see, I see that you're on. I thank you, Father God, that your shoulder and your back hey. comes into alignment in the name of Jesus right now. Yes. I thank you, Father God, Sandra, just like a chiropractor. Healed. Is beginning to just chiropract, beginning to just adjust yes. your back. It's coming in complete alignment. I even speak to yes. the curvature in your back to become straight. In Jesus' Thank name. You, Lord. In Jesus' Ooh. name. Thank you, Father God. Thank you, Father God. In Jesus' name. Yes. As you were releasing those words, Sandra, you are not just healed. Because you are healed right now. But also, I'm seeing music. I'm seeing music around you. Sandra, Van Hill, I'm seeing like music. I'm seeing like piano. I'm, seeing, I'm hearing music in my ear. The Lord says there will be a release, a prophetic 
uh, uh, worship into your life. I'm seeing prophetic worship around you right now. I'm seeing prophetic Thank worship you, Jesus. around you right now. And as you begin to walk, I'm seeing her. I'm seeing her being touched by now by the Holy Ghost. Yes, music. Of course you do music. And of course the Lord will give you new music. I'm seeing prophetic worship coming out of you. And the Lord says, I will raise you. I will lift you. Because you will be a blessing to so many people. Thank you, Jesus. You Thank are not you, just Jesus. healed. The Lord has raised you up as the man of God was releasing this word of healing. I'm seeing inside the healing and I saw and locate music. Wow. Oh, wow. Thank yes, you, Jesus. This Facebook life is not a Facebook life. The Holy Ghost is moving all over this place. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Uh, Ruby, Ruby. Yeah, I can see that. Ruby, I, I just, I want to speak over your life uh, breakthrough. I want to speak over your life breakthrough. I see God just beginning to do and shift things in your life. I see um, he's going to accurately begin to, like a filing cabinet, begin to put things into place. Um, even as um, you've been questioning God, where do I go as far as things with uh, finances and with your job and with different things Come like on. that? God is going to bring Prophesy. things into clarity um, in the next few months. I see God just bringing clarity. God's also going to bring into your life uh, a strong man and woman of God to begin to mentor you, to begin to, um, to just to begin to really pump, um, pump into your life the word of Jesus. God and the things of God. And um, God's just going to do a great thing. Um, that dream that you had, that you thought that it was over with, I, I want to, uh, it's almost like a relationship or something like that. God says, just give him time. Give him time to work out that relationship. Give him time to bring his light to the situation. God's going to begin to just shift yes. things. And you're going to find out how that person comes back into your life. Hey. I'm, I'm, I'm not talking about like a, a boyfriend or a girlfriend. I'm talking about that type of relationship. I'm talking about a, a family relationship that God's going to bring back into your life. Um, clarity Shabbat. and bring re restoration to that thing in your life. Thank you, Father God. Oh, Jesus. Thank you, Father Receive God. Receive that word. Receive that word. Come on. Say, say, say Amen. Say Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Respond to the word of prophecy. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord word God. God. Something is happening. People yes. are receiving healing and miracle. Uh, I think Sandra says that we have to pray for her mom. She has cancer in her lung, in her back. Oh, we believe God. There is a guy, yes. the Bible says that he sent his word and his word healed them. The centurion yes. guy, he came to Jesus and says, just declare the word. So I just want to believe this word, woman of God. I speak healing right now into your mom. Yes. I speak healing right now. Cancer in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name. In the name of Jesus. Be root yes. out. Be yes, in out Jesus' name. Sea right now. Because yes, out, yes. In the name of Jesus. You can't in the name of Jesus. Lungs be healed, be restored. In Jesus' in name. In the name of Jesus. We prophesy in Jesus healing name. all over this atmosphere. Healing over her back, healing over her life, healing right yes, now. Yes, in and Jesus' if name. If you are her daughter, just put your hands in the head as a sign of contact and receive the word for her. Receive the word in the name of Jesus. Yes, we release the word right name. now. Let the devil of cancer come out in the name of Jesus. Yes, in let Jesus' life, name. Let life, life eternal yes, life. Yes, life, life, life. In, in the Jesus name of name. Jesus. In oh, Jesus' Jesus. name. Thank you, Father God. Thank you, Father God. I see Maxine uh, commented. Um, Maxine, the, um, when I seen your name pop up on my live stream, um, the only thing that God spoke to me to tell you is I, um, an apartment. Um, an apartment is coming. That's just the, the strict thing. That's the straight thing that I just want to say. An apartment, housing um, is coming. A breakthrough is coming to you in that area of your life. Um, and God's going to um, 
shift your spiritual perspective. I want to I wanna speak to you about the prophetic gifting upon your life. The things that you see, that you see when you walk around and stuff like that, that's God sh- showing you prophetically what is happening around you so that you can begin to pray and shift the atmosphere. So like with your job in the grocery store, things like that, when you see certain things, it's not meant to torture you, but it's meant for you to prophetically declare the word of the Lord and begin to step into that authority. But as far as an, an, a, as an apartment coming, I see it very clearly. I see you stepping into a broad place. I see you stepping into that thing. Do you have anything for her, man of God? Hallelujah. Yes, there is a spirit of breakthrough. The Lord is bringing breakthrough into her life. I can see all over. I can see a breakthrough in this month of February going to March. I know things mm. have been delayed, but believe God. Believe God. In this season, believe God. Because I've seen the provision of the Lord going your way. Hallelujah. Yes. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Is there, thank you, Jesus. Is there anybody else that would like a um, prophetic word or us to pray for you? in this moment while the anointing is here. Hello, Pastor Lincoln. I see that you're on the live stream with us. Uh, oh, say Jesus. hello to your wife and your um, amazing son, the little prophet. I, I can't wait to hold him in a couple of months and see him. Glory, Thank God. glory. But if you would like a prayer or if you would like a prophetic word, just for a few more moments before um, we bring this to an end. We will pray for you and we will declare the word of the Lord over your life. Thank Amen. you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Father, thank we, thank you, you. Jesus. we thank you for this atmosphere. We thank you for yes, what's so happening God. in this Facebook live. Uh, Jesus. Ba, 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 ba. Oh, bless your people, Lord. Those who are experienced delayed, delayed right now, met this may be an acceleration right now in your finances. Because I'm seeing people waiting, 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 waiting. The Lord said, I'm releasing. Oh, Jesus, I feel so powerful. Uh, release. Yes, release. 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 Be released right now in the name of Jesus. Receive your Jesus. blessing. Come and react. Receive your blessing right now. When a prophet comes, he comes to release whatever is bound. To take you out of the place of bondage to a place of abundance. I'm taking you right now to the place of abundance right now in the name of Jesus. I decree and I declare over your life. May you reach your promised land. Yes, in Jesus' name. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' Um, name. Thank you, Lord uh, God. Jesus. Ruby, I, I think it's Ruby. That. Ruby won a word, man of God. And, yes. And as you prophesy, I prophesy after you. Okay. Is he still there? Okay. Are you are you gonna release that prophetic word? Hallelujah. Yeah, um Ruby. This is a time uh, where you need to be focused because there is a time of elevation. Now, whenever it's a time of elevation, you need to take your time to be focused. So take your time to be focused. There is an elevation in the ministry that you work with. Uh, Let the Holy Ghost guide you. And those properties, those properties that has been delayed, I'm seeing God releasing properties for you in your way right now in the name of Jesus. I'm seeing elevation, which that means, it means that you will have opportunity, new opportunity. Oh, Jesus, something is happening. Amen. I'm seeing new opportunity, not even for you, but for your husband, because you because you have desire to honor, to walk in honor. The Lord said, I'm elevating yes. you right now, because as you humble yourself, I will lift you up. I yes. will lift you up. And I see Ruby that time, of elevation into your life right now. I'm seeing the Lord lifting you, creating new opportunities your way. As you humble yourself, the Lord will release you properties. I'm seeing properties like houses. The Lord is releasing right now. And some money that was holding, the Lord is releasing right now. Oh, do you believe Jesus that? Name. Because I'm seeing in the spirit that money being released right at this in moment. Jesus' name. 
And that money yes. is, and, and that money is hitting at the end is 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 between the middle of March and the end of March. Oh, Come on, Jesus. The <laughs> Lord is Now, yes. can you confirm? Can you say what, we, what is true, what is not true? That's how sharp we are. Can you confirm what we are prophesying here? Because we are not just prophesying from our own will. We are seeing it in the spirit, clearly. Yes, 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 yes. I'm saying that because... I'm feeling in my spirit that some people say, ah, oh, that's not from God. Yes, it is from God. Test. Look, and you will see. Amen. Amen. Yes, 100% confirmation. Oh, Come on, Jesus. Is moving. I'm telling you, he's moving. He's healing. He's delivering people right now, releasing wisdom, yes. releasing understanding, releasing knowledge. Yes. Come on, Jesus. Come on, Jesus. Wow. Hey, Trudy. Trudy goes to our church. Do you have a prophetic word for her, man of God? You say Trudy? Trudy Jones, yes. Hey, Trudy. You say she's go, she go to your church? Yes, she visits it, our church, yes. All right. Uh, give me just a second. Okay, yes, Trudy jumps. I can see her because it's, it's moving fast for me. I don't know why. Uh, okay, yes, I'm ready. I'm just waiting on Holy Ghost. Yes, uh, Trudy, I'm seeing a new season in, in your life. I'm seeing a new season. The Lord, the Lord is transitioning you, as I was speaking earlier. There, is, there are some changes that the Lord is doing in your life. Important changes of location, mm. of location. And when I'm seeing you, I'm seeing... Uh, uh, there is a church, and I'm seeing uh, behind that church, there are like rocks. Rocks. Behind that church. And what that really means is that the Holy Ghost will relocate you is bringing a new beginning in your life. Is is bringing a, a, a new. Is bringing maturity into your life. Mm. It's bringing maturity. He's taking you to a place of maturity of responsibility. And the Lord says, "Don't fear." In this season, the Lord is, uh, uh, is is like releasing a new movement of the Spirit into her life. And I don't know why, but I'm seeing music connected to you. I'm seeing like music connected to you. And also I'm seeing the month of October. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father. Uh, did she's here or she's gone? I don't know. I think she's still there. Okay, perfect. Uh, yes. So I want you to be focused. In this season, don't be against the changes because the changes that is coming your way are very important for your spiritual life. Yeah. It's very important for your spiritual life. So don't refuse the changes. Receive the changes. Yes. Okay. She's here. Okay. Perfectly. Perfectly. So uh, as I'm speaking right now, the Lord is also touching a man. I'm seeing a man that the Lord is touching right now. I'm seeing a man that he's touching. And as he touched that man, I'm seeing your spiritual life become bold and gray. Because that's one of your prayer. You are praying for a man. And the Lord says, I'm releasing his heart. I'm dealing with his heart. Just have faith. Wow, Trudy. Wow. Just have faith and believe God because he, that man, that man that now is, a, it's like he's not cooperating with the things of God. That man that he's not cooperating, you will soonly see him in church worshiping the Lord. Because I'm seeing salvation here in your way. I'm seeing the word salvation going your way. I'm seeing, uh, again, everything is relocating you. It's taking you to another place. 
So wow. believe God. Be focused. Continue to pray. Continue to seek the Lord. And you shall see the victory over your husband. Uh oh. Do I say husband? Yeah. I say husband to that man. <laughs> Come on, Jesus. What is happening is it's, it's crazy. What is happening is crazy. I'm telling you. Come on, Jesus. So believe God. Truly believe God. And I don't know why, but I'm seeing the month of October. Come on, the Jesus. Month of October. It has to be linked with you. I'm seeing in the spirit, and the month of October is linked to you. So receive this prophetic word. Receive strength right now because you ask God for strength. Receive the strength yeah. of God. Those who wait upon the word of God, they shall receive new strength, oh, new thank anointing, you, Jesus. Amen. new power in the name of Jesus. Jesus' name. Wow. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. What is happening? <laughs> I, I can I can honestly say that God is on this live stream. I'm as that's all you. as my hands just lift up and say thank you, Jesus. I'm telling you, <laughs> and this is gonna continue to happen into your Facebook life. We're gonna take we're gonna take the uh air for the glory of Jesus. Amen. It Amen. has been taken. Amen. Everything that we have spoken is taking place in the spirit realm right now. Yes, yes, amen. Is there anybody else, anybody else that wants a um, prophetic word or, uh, for the prophet to pray over you? While you're responding, I just want to say that there's someone, uh, your lower back is being healed hey. right now in the name of ah, Jesus. Jesus. Just receive that. But I want to be specific um, with that. It's a, um, it's a sciatic nerve and the pain goes down, um, down your... Um, the center, what would it be called? It's the, all right, we call it the butt crack, okay? I just can't say it any other way. The coccyx. The coccyx. It's a pain that mm. starts there, and it goes down into your leg. Um, and God's healing that right now in the name of Jesus. My hey. wife is laughing at me, but God is <laughs> healing that pain right now in Jesus' name. Yes, Thank you, right Father now. God. Thank you, Man Father God, God, in Jesus' let name. Let Sarah laugh. Let Sarah laugh. You know, you know what happened when God was spoken to Abraham, and then she laughed. <laughs> yeah. Let, let your wife laugh because joy is hitting your in her way right now. All right. Hallelujah. Come on, Jesus. Yeah. Amen. Let me tell you. Let me let me release something to your wife. Wait, wait, your wait. Wife, let me take off wife. the earphone. Oh, Jesus, what is happening here? Even the camera is moving. <laughs> okay, go ahead, this go ahead. Is, okay, okay. Let me release this word over your life. You, I'm seeing a lot of women that will connect with your, with your wife. Your wife has the gift of canceling. She will begin to cancel on people. And God says to her, don't deny, listen, don't undermine your anointing. That's, that's why you said to your wife, believe God, because you're going to be used mightily in this season. Amen. Amen. And not just you. I'm seeing a sister. Do you have a sister? No, I, I don't. I have, this, I have a two woman. sister in law. Yeah. I but it's a, a woman that. Okay, let me clarify. Can I clarify? Yes. When, when I mean a sister, it's a woman that is a blessing to you. Okay. Okay. All right. Uh, this woman has the ability to teach the word of God. Amen. Amen. Uh, this woman has the ability to teach the word of God. Do you hear what I'm saying? Yes. Amen. And you have to be ready because the Lord will connect you with different women that will help you to develop your anointing. The Hallelujah. Holy, the Holy Ghost says, be ready because there are prophetic dreams hitting your way. Amen. Amen. Prophetic dreams. Pay attention to your dreams because the Lord says, I'm speaking to her in dreams, but sometimes she forgot or sometimes she don't understand. Amen. Hallelujah. But the Lord says, I will raise you like Joseph. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. I will raise up like Joseph. Now, Joseph, 
is very particular because his own family don't believe in what he carry. Amen. Amen. Okay. So in, 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 that being said, you need to allow God to do whatever he want to do in your family and in your ministry. Hallelujah. Thank okay? you, Jesus. And, and even if people don't believe in what you have or you don't believe in the ministry of your husband, you keep believing. Okay. Thank you, Lord. You keep believing. You keep pushing. You keep believing. You keep pushing. And I'm telling you, I'm seeing you preaching. Hallelujah. The word of God. <laughs> I'm seeing you preaching the word of God. I'm seeing you preaching. Uh, and as a matter of fact, not too long ago, uh, not too far enough. I hope you understand my English. Yes. <laughs> not too far from now. That's what I'm trying to say. Not too far from now. There will be an opportunity to be in a woman's conference. I'm seeing a gathering and I'm seeing a lot of women around you. Amen. Amen. So you have to be ready. This is, the, this, is your, this is your year. This is the season that you have to step out. Okay. Hallelujah. And let God use you. Yeah. And let God use you mightily. Okay. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Thank Lord. Thank you, Jesus. In Thank Jesus you, Jesus. name. So be Amen. ready for this fresh anointing. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I receive it. Thank you. Amen. Men of God, help me. I, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. All right, so we have a couple of people. Can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you well. Now. Okay, I can hear you. Okay. All right, because I can't hear you <laughs> unless I have my earphones on. All right, so we have a couple okay. of people that want some prayer. Um, Mariah um, uh, Cardinia. She spoke in Spanish. All right, I don't do the Spanish thing, so I'll give it over to you. Okay. Puede orar por toda mi familia. Yes, podemos orar por tu familia. Ahora mismo, todos los que hablan español. Todos los que hablan español. Gloria a Dios. María Cárdenas. María Cárdenas. Que el Espíritu Santo de Dios traiga restauración sobre tu familia. Que todo lo que el diablo te haya robado sea devuelto ahora en el nombre de Jesús. Que Dios traiga paz sobre tu familia. Que Dios traiga paz sobre tu familia, María. Y veo que Dios va a trabajar en diferentes áreas en, 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 en tu vida. Veo que Dios, veo a Dios trabajando en diferentes áreas de tu vida. Pero una de tus oraciones es más por la familia. So estoy orando por tu familia. Estoy orando por la salvación en tu familia. Padre, yo oro por salvación. Aquellos que no conozcan de Jesucristo, sean libres en el nombre de Jesús. En el nombre de Jesús. Gracias, Señor. Gracias, Señor. Amén. 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 Something is happening right now. Amén. Something is in place. Amén. Glory, glory to God. Father God, I thank you for um, Arlene. I pray for her and her sister right now. I thank you, Father God, for just breakthrough. I thank you for our shifting in seasons. Um, Arlene, if you're still there, um, comment below. But I want to just let you know. Hey, uh, Andy. But Arlene, I want to let you know that you need to name the season that you're in. The reason why that the enemy has brought confusion and stuff like that is because you haven't named the season. And what I mean by naming the season, you need to say that this is my season of breakthrough. This is my season yeah. of seeing God take take and shift me into new dimensions and increase me and i'm going to use a, a a keyword that's out there right now for mega things for mega increase for mega uh a uh, uh, breakthrough so name that season over you and your sister's life and begin to see how god begins to shift things um i also want you to take and um uh find the scripture psalms 126 and how they sold 
seed and weeping, they also reap the harvest. And that's the key thing for you, that even though you sowed seed and, and, and weeping and crying, you're going to rejoice and you're going to reap a harvest when you name the season and God is going to break through on your behalf. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Glory Father. Glory to God. Tony, Tony, I see um, industry. I see industry um, when uh, in the spirit for you. I see God is going to open up a whole new um, industry for you. A whole new, I think um, what I'm seeing, and you can confirm this, um, you're in sales, you're, you like to uh, sell things and stuff like that. And God's going to um, bring to you a new industry. And in that industry, you're going to have a witty idea on how to actually um, market that um, thing. And it's going to open up the door for you in such a big, big way. And your gift, this is the season that your gift will make room for you. And watch what God is going to do in your life. It's going to be powerful, man of God. Powerful, powerful, Amen. powerful, Amen. Hallelujah. Glory, glory, glory. Thank you, Lord God. Thank you, Lord God. And y'all can, you can confirm these words. Um, confirm these words if you like. Um, Andy, I don't know if you're there. Um, I love you and your wife. I need to get you to South Africa. Um, um, but for your house... Um, your house in the next, um, I'm, I'm just going to release it the way that I see it. The next 90 days, your house will be, you will have a decision whether to sell the house or to keep the house. Um, and God's going to give you that in the next 90 days, mark it from today, 90 days, you will have the decision whether to sell the house or whether to keep the house. And whatever decision that you make, the word of God will shine upon it and you will see favor and it will happen quickly. It will happen quickly um, because God is about to actually um, elevate you in ministry and God is going to actually um, take your voice. And it's time for your voice to be um, heard in other nations. Um, you're not going to come to South Africa um, first, but God's going to take your voice to other nations. Um, and he's going to uh, begin to launch you out um, into other nations. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. You can confirm that if you like. Um, um, prophet, if you have a word for anyone, go ahead. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Nah, yeah, 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 yeah. God is moving mightily, mightily. Ah, yes, oh, so thank you, Lord, for moving so powerful over your people, ah, yes, so cool. Lord. Thank you for healing. Thank you for breakthrough. Thank you for deliverance. Thank you for whatever is happening right now in the spirit, Lord. Thank you, Jesus, for the healing. Thank you for the miracle. Hallelujah. Ah, yes, so the good. Lord is moving mightily. I don't know why, but I'm seeing like Henry, something like that. Henry. I don't know. I'm seeing a it's a Henry that I'm seeing. Mm. There. I'm seeing like Henry, 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 Henry. It's like a husband of a wife that I'm seeing. And his name is Henry. Okay. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Thank you Lord. But the Lord... Well, I do have people that... that... Thank you, Lord. What was, the... what was that? Thank you, Lord. Yeah, I was about... I was about to tell you uh, to just go ahead and release that word because I do have people that will um, watch this live stream um, uh, later on later on yeah yeah okay yes what i'm seeing with henry is that the lord is about to release something powerful powerful uh, over him and over her wife because i'm so I'm, mm. I'm seeing her wife also i'm seeing her wife with black hair mm -hmm. and i'm seeing the lord releasing um a blessing over this family mightily mightily blessing i speak 
health over her family, in the name of Jesus, over his family too, in the name of Jesus. Father, I thank you for Henry. May you bless. He had like, uh, when I see him, I'm seeing him like almost 50 or, or around 40, something like that. Mm. Henry. And he's connected to the month of February. I'm seeing February. It's like he wow. has to be with her wife, with her wife. And I'm seeing no the second week, but like the first week of February. Wow. I just need to uh, switch the camera around. Give me one moment. There we no go. Okay. So, Father, bless Henry. Bless this family. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord Amen. God. Thank you, Lord God. Well, my friend, if there's no one else that wants to um, log on, I think we're going to go ahead and sign off. Um, there's just a, such Perfect. a powerful anointing here. Um, confirm, anybody, uh, just go ahead and confirm if that words were for you. Uh, wow, thank you, Jesus. You don't have any more questions, right? I, I don't have any more questions, man, of God. Besides, how can people so seed into your life? How can they connect with you and be a blessing to you? It's very easy. They just have to look on my Facebook uh, and okay. they can run me, write me on my messenger. I don't have a website yet. I'm working on it. So if those who want to bless my ministry uh, and help me to continue this work, they are able to go to my Facebook and write me personally. Uh, the person that will be answering will be my wife. Uh, it, we can go from there. We have paper, we okay. have cash app and so forth. Uh, do I have an amazing uh -huh. vision for this year? So those who can bless my ministry uh, and so a uh, see on my ministry, they are more welcome. And I'm telling those people that so see in my ministry, it's not a it's not a dry ground. It's a ground that right. produces, that saves souls, that yes. heals the sick, yes. that delivers yes. people. So this is a yes. good investment if you sow a see into my ministry and believe God with me yes. for what He's about to do on this ministry. Amen. Amen. And I can, I can testify to that, that this is a powerful man of God, very accurate. Whatever you sow, you will receive a thousand uh, fold return on it. Um, he's a great blessing to the body of Christ. All right, my friend, is there anything else that you want to say uh, before we end the live stream today? Wow. Um, people are saying spot on, spot on. Come on, Jesus. Spot on, right yeah. on the spot, right? We are, we are hitting yeah. on the target. Only Jesus. Come on, Jesus. Amen. Anything else you want to say before we let you go, man of God? Nothing. To continue uh, on the faith, to continue granted in his word, and to expect that the best is yet to come. This is not a time yes. for you to give up. This is a time for you to continue believing Jesus, believing for God and for more. So I encourage yes. you today to keep seeking the presence of God, to go to your secret place and to restore whatever is your inheritance in the kingdom of God. And I yes. believe that the best in your life is yet to come. Amen. Praise God. Praise God. Well, Father God, I ask a special blessing over my friend. Father God, bless Thank him, you, keep him. Uh, let the anointing become even more accurate, Father God. Let the prophetic word become even more accurate. Let the anointing increase upon his life. Open up doors, Father God, to the nations, Father God. I thank you, Father God, that his foot will step on every continent in this world. I thank you, Father God, that you're bringing partners to his ministry, Father God, to bring forth the vision of God that is upon his life. I thank you, Father God, for just increasing him exponentially. I thank you, Father God, that um, he will see the manifestation of the word of God yes, in his life, in Jesus' thank name. You. And I thank you, Father God, for just shooting him out just like an arrow that it hits the mark every single time in Jesus' you, name. Amen, amen and amen. amen. Thank you, Father God. Hallelujah. All right. Father God, uh, we bless you, man of God. We love you, and we will uh, connect with you soon. Amen. Thank you. Shalom. You too. Bye-bye. All right. Let's see. Okay, family. I want to thank you so much for logging on to the live stream today and just... Um, 
just hearing the voice of God and allowing God to move in your life and speak to you, um, please go to his Facebook. Um, it's tagged in the, um, the status and allow God to uh, uh, instruct you on how to be a blessing into this man of God's life. All right, family, we love you. May, look, may, we want to thank, oh, we want to thank Coffee Therapy 25 Church Street in Durbanville for allowing us to spend uh, these nights here praying over South Africa and the Korean, the word of the Lord. We meet here at every Sunday at 6 p.m. Um, hope to see you there. So love global. Father, God, bless them, keep them, cause your face to shine upon them, increase them a thousand times over. And I thank you, Father God, for just uh, ordaining their steps in Jesus' name. We love you guys, and we'll see you tomorrow. I have friends coming in all the way from New Orleans, Louisiana. It is our, supposed to be our last day of praying and believing God for rain here in Cape Town. Tomorrow, same time, same place. Bless you. Bye-bye.